Okay, so thanks for the invitation. It's really good to, to be back in Trieste. And um, in this talk, I'm going to try to um, answer this question that we uh, asked in this paper with Elena Giusarma from Rome, Olga Mena from Valencia, and uh, Hector Ramirez, who's around. In any case, there's some nasty questions, so you can ask him, so he's there. <laughs> so um, during this meeting, uh, sorry. Uh, this, this is the outline, so I'm, I'm going I'm to uh, uh, take you about some motivation, why we ask this question, and then I, I present the feed, the result, I'm trying to have a problem with this, and, uh, and at the end, so I, I will comment on future constraints and conclusion. Okay, so during this meeting, uh, so it's clear that we have uh, some pretty good, uh, um, pretty detailed picture of the universe. Basically, uh, through three sets, three basic sets of experiments, so CMB, large-scale structure, and also n-body simulation, which are also a kind of, uh, of numerical experiment. And uh, the whole picture that we call lambda CDM holds together once we specify some initial conditions. And uh, you, um, I, I am sure that you agree that uh, among all the theories uh, or the mechanisms that we have, so basically inflation is... Uh, uh, has a special place. Uh, this, these are a couple of slides just to remind you what are what is inflation, what kind of inflation I'm talking about. It's just single field, uh, slow inflation where we have a, 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 um, a scalar field uh, minimally coupled. This is this is the only sentence that you have to retain from this slide. Minimally coupled to gravity, and then once some conditions are satisfied, so you have really a set of uh, of, uh, of um, prediction that are really in, in, in impressive uh, uh, agreement with, uh, with the data. So with respect to inflation, so the alternative are less elegant, and I mean, there's some debate about that, but I mean, I'm sure most of you agree, except maybe Justin, who was here last week. But <laughs> in any case, I'm, I'm gonna focus uh, in, uh, uh, on, 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 on this simple picture and try to see uh, whether uh, this picture can be made more natural. Okay, so um, so as I said, uh, inflation has a special place among the early universe uh, scenarios to, to for for initial conditions. However, it's it's not uh, uh, it's not. Uh, I mean, it has some problems. For instance, as I showed you before, so we always assume that the 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 inflaton scalar field is minimally coupled to to uh, to gravity, and this not this is not. Uh, the most uh, general uh, uh, situation. Uh, another problem that is related to this one, that I will argue later on, is the, the fact that uh, you, we always uh, assume that uh, uh, there is a, a normalizable potential, and we don't include the, the uh, non normalizable uh, interactions just because of simplicity. So basically, these, uh, these uh, terms are, 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 are neglected for convenience. Um, so this is also a problem, a conceptual problem, but it should be addressed at the point if we, if we want to understand the inflation from a, uh, an effective field theory point of view or, or as, a, as a consistent theory. And uh, this is, okay, this is, this is hard to justify. Uh, in fact, I mean, the, if, you, if you consider shift symmetry, that is the, the, the only symmetry that you can think of when, you, when you're doing inflation. It's broken by the potential and also the, this non-minimal couple, couple, coupling that I will, I, will think, I, will, I will tell you about. So we, we asked this question whether this non-minimal uh, non coupling of uh, the inflaton is uh, preferred or is it ruled out or what, what is the situation? So this is a list of, a partial list of papers uh, of uh, talented people that uh, ask this question, maybe in different context, but it's related to us. So, okay. So uh, this is the motivation. Um, so uh, the non-minimal uh, the non-minimal couplings are expected on, on ge in general, uh, and you, you can you can justify the, the presence in, in many ways. For instance, uh, um, you can think of uh, you can think of the, the inflaton. Uh, as being coupled to light degree of freedom that we hit at the end of the, of, the, of the inflation, which is the usual picture. And these couplings will generate some uh, non-trivial, uh, non-zero, uh, non-minimal couple, non-minimal non coupling through the, the RGE. So once, I mean, once uh, you, you, you uh, 
uh, you include the uh, while loop corrections to, to, to the XI, the non-minimal couple. So you will see that uh, um, this, uh, uh, the running will, will, uh, will generate a non-vanishing uh, uh, XI. And uh, uh, the, the, the property of this, this equation, which is really well known, except when you have a, a conformal coupling, when XI is one-sixth, so you have always a non-minimal couple, non coupling generated by the running, and the, the magnitude is, uh, is given by this, uh, basically. It's logarithmically uh, sensitive to the scale. So you see that even if you start with a vanishing, vanishing psi at some scale, so you'll generate it. The second argument is that, um, so one can say always that you can rephrase the, uh, the dynamics. So suppose that you have this Lagrange. Sorry, I have a problem with it. So you start with this Lagrangian, which is a general one with a non-minimal couple. But then, okay, so we consider, for instance, the working example that we will focus here in, in, uh, in our uh, talk. Uh, uh, the, we will focus on the m square phi square scenario, which is the simplest one. Uh, you can always rephrase the dynamics in the Einstein frame. And the Einstein frame is just making a, a, a Wehler scaling where we we have this prefactor for the metric, and then we are back to our familiar form with a new scalar field, kind of normalized, and with a new uh, potential. So the new potential is related to the, to the, to the old one by the, the, this is U, by the way, is the, is the old potential divided by the conformal factor, square of the conformal factor. And if we consider, for instance, uh, um, uh, this kind of uh, conf uh, this kind of conformal factor, where I mean, this, it, it, this is just an, an expansion around uh, uh, with for small side. So we see that if we expand it, we have a, a, a new uh, operators that uh, that are uh, created, and especially the the non the non ones. So we can turn around this argument and say that if we have some theory. A flexionary theory uh, mo a model with uh, uh, non normalizable operators. So we can always write it as a, no a non minimally coupled uh, theory. So that's, that's basically the motivation that led us to uh, consider this uh, minimally, non minimally coupled. Okay, so now this is the, the fit what, that we did. So basically, we took M square phi square model that we see here in, black, in, 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 in red dots. And uh, we add a non-minimal uh, non coupling. And we see what, 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 what are the bounds uh, uh, on this uh, non-minimal couple by using uh, uh, Monte Carlo chains. So we see, as we know, that, uh, for instance, the uh, M square, phi square scenario is already under tension uh, with respect to the new data. For instance, it depends on the number of e-folds, but for instance, for 50 e-fold, it's, it's outside the two sigma uh, confidence level, and we see that the uh, the a positive uh, non minimal cup, uh, non minimal coupling is um, is is uh, is favored, no? Because uh, as you see here, this this this, this represents the, the the magnitude of this non minimal coupling, and for a negative uh, xi, so the you follow this trajectory, while for positive one, so you go back to the uh, one sigma uh, confidence level of, of Planck, for instance, no? And you see that the magnitude of this psi is of order 10 to minus 3. Okay, in more details. So you see now th uh, that uh, uh, we have a slight preference for uh, non vanishing uh, uh, xi. So this is the PDF of, uh, of xi, and this is of order 10 to minus 3. While uh, also you have also a non, a non vanishing also for R. Uh, for tensor to scalar ratio. Okay, so this is uh, to be compared uh, with the situation without uh, non minimal coupling. First, is with Planck 2015. You see that the PDF uh, of uh, R, I mean, visually, it doesn't show any uh, preference for non matching R. So, in, in the context of this model, it's easy to understand because the, the, uh, this model, there is a non trivial. Uh, correlation between NS and R. So you cannot push uh, R uh, low without uh, having a non vanishing side. Okay, so, um, so there is a slight um, uh, for preference for, uh, for non vanishing uh, um, non minimally couple. Uh, let's see how much. 
So uh, we see that, okay, so these are the results uh, for uh, some set of parameters for a number of efforts, 60 and 50, and we see that basically the uh, central value is around uh, 10 to minus uh, 3. So this is 0.03 uh, or t uh, 3 by 10 to minus 3, while the, 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 the tensor to scalar ratio is around the point of, of point of 0.4, point 0.46. Okay, so uh, in order to ask uh, to 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 to, to um, answer the question that we uh, are asking in, in the title of the talk, so we must be more uh, quantitative, and in order to be so, we should compare the distributions uh, for both vanishing and non-vanishing uh, non-minimal couple. And the simplest uh, the simplest thing to do is to compare the k squared, and we compare the k squared for a, a minimally coupled and the non-minimally coupled theory. By taking into account that there is an additional degree of freedom, which is psi, and you see that obviously the chi square decreases. However, it decreases in such a way that uh, the, there is a statistical significance to that. So, so the, 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 the psi is, uh, is favored to be non-zero, and uh, as the p-value with the, this set of data uh, indicates, it's very significant. So at 99% uh, confidence level. Okay, so um, it's interesting also to uh, look at the, at the excursion. So one can imagine that since we are considering some more complete theory of n square phi square, so the excursion might be smaller. So it, it turned out that, okay, for the values that we found, uh, the effect of, uh, of xi, the minimal couple, is not so uh, relevant because it's, it's so small. So basically the phi and var phi, are related by this usual uh, expression. And for the values of xi that we find, uh, the, the excursion is still super Planck. So it doesn't fix the problem of super Planck and excursion. So still, we, I mean, in this sense, it's still not uh, uh, satisfactory. OK, what are the future constraints on this scenario? So in the context of Planck 2015, so there is this slight uh, uh, preference. What can we say in the future uh, constraints? So we can construct a combination of first order um, observables. And you see that, okay, in the case of m square phi square, this combination vanishes at order one over n uh, on a cube. And if we are able to measure the left-hand side of this equation uh, at this precision, which is the one that this uh, observation are aiming to, we can probe uh, xi at the level of 10 to minus 4. Also, we can combine this with the uh, accurate measurement of NS because, uh, as I said, there is a non-trivial uh, uh, correlation between NS and R in this kind of scenarios. So suppose that uh, the bounds on R go down by one order of magnitude, so uh, 0 0.1, so this will push NS outside the one sigma. Uh, the measure, for instance, the central value of Planck, and this will rule out completely the model. So this is one way of uh, falsifying it. The second way is to look at the running. So this is the running of, uh, with respect to the value of the non-minimal non -minimal, non -minimal coupling. And we see that, okay, so this is the m square phi square prediction. So for negative psi, there is a significant running. However, as I say that for negative psi, there's higher R, so it's already ruled out. However, so we can hope that with the, some uh, more uh, accurate measurement of the running, so if you measure running bigger than that, so because we are here, so the preferred values are here, uh, we, can, we can say something about this model. And as an example, so there's a lot of experiment as an example, so there is a a proposal in Caltech called Spherex, and it, prom it promises to reach this uh, impressive number, so it's like uh, 6 by 10 to minus 4, in alpha s. And this is, in this way, so one can hope to, to probe, uh, okay, among, the, the, among the, the older models also this, this kind of scenario, and to say something about it. Okay, so these are the conclusions. Um, so the answer to the question is yes. So it's the current data have a preference for a non-minimal couple phi square. Um, 
And the next round of uh, uh, observation will uh, falsify or rule out the scenario, uh, especially combined with the measure, measurement of NS and R because of the non-trivial correlation I explained. And uh, uh, more futuristic ones like 21 centimeter will certainly answer this question more accurately. Okay.